Demystifying object pronouns in English relative clauses. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our series on intermediate grammar. In today's video, we're delving deep into the realm of relative clauses, specifically, we're going to talk about object pronouns. Let's unravel this together and by the end of the video, you'll master the usage of object pronouns in relative clauses. Before we jump into the main topic, let's do a quick recap on relative clauses. A relative clause is a type of clause that describes a noun or pronoun in another part of a sentence. It usually comes after the noun it describes and begins with a relative pronoun like who, which, that, etc. For example, the book that you gave me is interesting. Here, that you gave me is the relative clause. Now, let's understand object pronouns. Object pronouns replace the object in a sentence. They're words like me, you, him, her, it, us, you, and them. But how does this work in the context of relative clauses? In relative clauses, an object pronoun can be used to replace the object of the verb. It typically comes right after the noun it's relating to. Let's take an example. The woman that you met at the party was my cousin. Here, that is replacing the woman in the relative clause, making that the object pronoun. One key point to remember is that when the object pronoun is the object of the relative clause, we can often omit it. So, the woman that you met at the party was my cousin can also be, the woman you met at the party was my cousin. To summarize, object pronouns in relative clauses can be, who, for people, which, for things, and, that, for people or things. Remember, these pronouns can often be left out when they are the objects of the relative clause. This can make your English sound more natural, but both forms are correct. And that wraps up our lesson on object pronouns in relative clauses. I hope this video has made the concept clear and easy to understand. Keep practicing and soon using object pronouns in relative clauses will become second nature to you. Until next time, keep learning and happy studying.